Welcome to 7RP.2. This is goal one. This is a video for goal one. Um, in this video, you need to be able to deter determine if two situations are proportional in relation to one another, and you need to be able to identify unit rates and equations, tables, diagrams, and descriptions. So let's get started. What does it mean, first of all, to be proportional? Well, proportional uh, quantities are essentially quantities that show a constant ratio or rate. So essentially, if, um, if I have two pairs of socks for every pair of shoes I have, and if I were to buy one more pair of, sh pair of shoes, I'm no longer keeping my proportions. I would maybe have um, two pairs of or three pairs of socks for every pair of shoes I had or whatever else. So it changes the proportionality of my initial situation. For something to be non-proportional or not proportional whatsoever, when you compare two quantities, their rates are not constant. So it's super important when you do these sort of problems that you check multiple um, quantities to see if some of them are proportional or if all of them are proportional or if they are not proportional. So let's try a problem. We have a table here. We have coffee in pounds versus the cost. And so what we can do is we can look at this vertically. If I look at coffee, one pound of coffee equals $3. So what I need to be able to see as well is if two pounds of coffee, if that's $6, it, does that keep things in proportion? So do they increase at a constant rate? Do they have that um, constant of proportionality? available to them. So if I look at 2, I could divide 2 by itself and we get 1. And if I divide 6 by 2, we get 3. So yeah, these two quantities are proportional. So let's try another one. Let's see if 3 ninths, does that continue to have that same 1 to 3 proportionality, that same 1 to 3 constant of proportionality? So 3, or three pounds to nine dollars, we can divide this by three and this by three to get that sort of upside down unit rate sort of thing. So we can see what one pound would equal. Well, three divided by three is one and nine divided by three is three. So yeah, this is still proportional. And we can check one more time is four over 12. Can that be simplified? into one-third as well. I'm sure you're probably already seeing it. Yeah, it sure can. It can be simplified to one over three. So this has a constant of proportionality, essentially, of one to three. That is our ratio. It's one to three or one to, oops, I wrote that wrong, one to three. So yes constant and proportionality, this is a proportional relationship. For every pound of coffee, you're going to pay $3 more. So we could also say, well, for half a pound of coffee, how much would I pay? Well, looking at this constant of proportionality, this half a pound of coffee compared to one over three, how much are you going to pay? How do I get from 0.5 to one? Well, I need to multiply it by two. I'd need to multiply this bottom by two. So three divided by two, if we're going the other direction, three divided by two is 1.5, so I'm going to pay a buck fifty for half a pound of coffee. Let's try another problem. This problem is one where we need to decide if the time is proportional to the distance. So let's f try a couple of problems. Here's 1 over 50, and we need to see if 1 over 50 is proportional to 2 over 70. So first of all, let's look. How do I get from 1 to 2? Well, I'd have to multiply by 2. That means if this is in proportion, I'd have to multiply the 50 by 2 to get 70. And really, we have to multiply 50 by a much smaller number, probably like 1.3 to be able to get 70. So this situation right here is not proportional. Not good. Another way that you can look at it is we have that 1 to 50 sort of ratio versus the 2 to 70 ratio. And if I were to divide 2 by 2, I will get 1, which is what I want on top. And if I were to divide 70 by 2, I get actually 
35 on the bottom, which is not the same. Those are not the same. Nope, it is not proportional. And so we actually only need to pick it or try one of these. Sometimes you'll see that it's proportional for a couple of, of these tables, a couple of these sort of um, scenarios, like say maybe this was proportional to this um, second scenario, but then this third scenario, it was also proportional. And then the fourth scenario threw ev everything off. And if you're looking at a whole table like that and it's proportional up until the last one, still not proportional. It's kind of a bummer. Something happens maybe at that fourth scenario. So let's try one more problem. We need to determine if this is proportional. Is the number of drinks proportional to the number of ice cubes that are used? So we have a one over six. One drink equals six ice cubes. Let's see if that is in proportion to our situation two over 14. So we need to set that equal, two over 14. So how do I get from one to two? I'd have to multiply by two. That means I'd have to multiply here by two, two to six, or six times two gets me 12. So again, not proportional, and we only needed to try two of these ratios to be able to determine that. So now I'd like you to start in on this homework. If you have any questions, please ask. I believe you are doing um, section 6.4, and you're going through 1 through 18, and then number 20 as well. So please ask questions if you have any. I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, work yourself through determining proportional relationships. Thank you.